If they weren't vampires, I would feel like I'm standing in a house filled with Republicans. Today, Elias and I will be reacting to New Moon, which is the second movie in the Twilight franchise. I have never watched Twilight ever in my life, but I watched it for the first time on Elias's channel. And you haven't watched these movies in 10 years. Yeah, so I completely forgot what has happened. I was content with just keeping all of our movie reactions to your channel so that you can worry about the editing and I don't have to do shit. I can just show up and be funny and that's it. But someone in the comments has suggested that we switch over with the movies, especially because the second one is focused on werewolves, which is perfect because I'm a furry. Are you gonna finally admit it? Fan of <laughs> wolves see. and dogs because they're just so cute. You're my wolf and dog. Yeah, I am. Arr, arr. Ooh, let's make howl noises to I'm chime dead. in. I'm not making any noises. Why not? It'll be Leave fun. It all to you. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! oh! Joy's in the other room and like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> the things you have to do for clout from my channel. But before we dive into some fantastic furry fun, we have a sponsor from a few animal friends. Cue the clip from future Cindy. This video is sponsored by Word Farm Adventures, where you can solve word puzzles, world finding challenges, world scrabble missions, all to build and renovate your farm and then rescue the animals in it. There's so many locations and missions in the game and there's like this mysterious story going on in the farm too that just gets better as you progress throughout the game. Plus, you can choose how to design your own farm, county fair, farmhouse, and a bunch of other locations so you can stylize it and make it personal to you. There's new rewards and challenges every day so you can come back daily to the game to claim your rewards. There's also boosters to help you solve super challenges challenging puzzles and help you progress through the game. And you don't have to play by yourself either. There's an option where you can also play against other people. Since most of my audience on this channel are a bunch of readers, I feel like we would be pretty good at this game together. So I'm gonna challenge you to help me out with beating level 20. If you can beat that level, share the solution in the comments and us nerds can just try to help each other out with all these word puzzles. So if you're interested, you can download Word Farm Adventure for free using the link in my description below and start rescuing your farm with your word puzzle skills. You Ew, moon. Ew, moon. Pack it up, Handmaid's Tail. Oh my god. The color palette has completely changed. I like this color palette it's better. It's like no longer blue. Well, oh, she looks completely different. She looks healthier. Wow, so pretty. See, when you're a furry, you're just healthier overall. <laughs> I guess this is a dream sequence. Yeah. Oh, I think it's her. She's like, ew, I look like that. <laughs> Ill moon. It was an Asian person having the same dream. They would literally look the exact same because Asian don't raise it. Juxtaposition, reading Romeo and Juliet. That's not juxtaposition, that's a parallel. Okay, don't add that in. That's stupid. stupid. Don't add that that's in. stupid. <laughs> She's like, why are you walking so slow? I think 18 is a little young to start worrying about that. It's one year older than you. I'm 109. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> Ew, why would you say that? Hello, biceps. Just filling out, Bella. Oh, he's filling out. Oh, oh, oh. Look at Edward just going like, why are the girls getting so into it? This old ass movie. This is you, gonna be you and me later. <sighs> why is he crying? What's this movie? Romeo, Romeo and Juliet. Juliet. Dude, nobody in high school gave a shit whenever <laughs> we watched Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> That's us. See, my everyone looks like that. <laughs> Dude, nobody talked like that about Romeo and Juliet Juliet's in high school. Name. Juliet's so perfect. Oh, here will I set up my everlasting rest and shake the yoke of inauspicious stars from this world weary flesh. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace. And lips, I will you the doors of breath. Seal with a righteous kiss a dateless bargain to engrossing death. I'm so horny. Come on. Oh. I think I've seen like maybe the scene around. She has a paper cut and everyone's like, <gasps> Give me the blood! Give me the blood! Yo! Why would he push her so hard? Dude, Damn. this is so dramatic. And for what? That's you when you first met me. Give me the coochie! Where are they both groaning? <laughs> Damn. So horny. Dude, where are the wolves? I was promised there would be wolves here. Like, I haven't seen like a single ten, wolf. We're like 15 minutes in. 15 minutes? This already felt like two hours. We have to leave forks. <gasps> They're leaving? Okay, bye. We can get some werewolf time. Okay, either he's gonna break up with her or they decide to do long distance. Either way, she's not gonna be able to handle it because she's so codependent on him. Nothing but what I always expected. I feel like his acting in this movie is so much more bored. I feel like he tried a little bit more in the first movie, but now he's just like monotone every time he delivers his lines. Robert just like, doesn't care anymore. Yep, zero Fs. 
I don't want you to come. That's what you said to me last night. Just hold it in just a little longer. <laughs> so they're gonna break up and that's when she's gonna get closer to Jacob and the werewolves. Can you just promise me something? Promise me you won't be a furry. Promise me you won't fuck those wolves. If this is about my soul, take it. I don't want it without you. I'm just sorry I let this go on for so long. This is the driest breakup ever. She's like, <gasps> and he's like, I'm sorry I let it go on for so long. She's like, what do you, what do you mean? And he's like, goodbye. Damn, is she gonna just curl up in a ball in the middle of the woods? I hope a wolf finds her. Honestly, mood. Sometimes I wanna curl up in a fetal position in the middle of the woods too. I was hoping for a dog, not this bare ass chest. I'm content with this bare ass chest. Oh, is it gonna the, show the, yeah, the seasons. months as the camera rolls around? That's an interesting time sequence. Honestly, this whole sequence is very apt to what depression feels like. <laughs> Why is she screaming? Her dad's like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> This is the most dramatic breakup ever. But I guess that's what it feels like when you go through your first breakup. That's it. You're going to Jacksonville. Live with your mother. It's just not normal, this behavior. <laughs> He's like, you've been a fucking weirdo. You're scaring me <laughs> with your weirdo behavior. No child of color could ever go through this. I don't know why you want to sit through all those zombies eating people. You know, why are there that many zombie movies anyway? So if it's supposed to like draw a parallel about leprosy, my cousin had leprosy, it's not funny. <laughs> She's gonna make a whole tweet thread about this. <laughs> I was offended by this leprosy representation. Keep walking. This is the ghost of Christmas past. You promised me nothing reckless. You promised me as if you never existed. He's like this weirdo behavior. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's how you get them. You just out weird them out. What the hell? In real life, this shit will get her killed. It's the no. self-destructive behavior for me. That homeboy could have been a psycho. That homeboy could have been a psycho you're an adrenaline junkie now that's cool you can go bungee jumping you don't get on the back of some random loser's motorcycle she got a point she do got a point and the just a crazy bitch bella where the hell have you been loca loca jacob's so confused about his real ethnicity jake you're like buff how did that happen you're like 16 i don't get it mm -hmm. wait okay. he's 16 wait in dog years that's hella old you want funny black i'll give you funny <laughs> look at them play fighting like little doggies i think this is cute you know they're just working on a project together i mean she's not doing shit but you know at least she has something to focus on i wish i could tell you about jake he makes me feel better he makes me feel alive that's called rebounding but i think this is sweet it's cute Oh my god, chill. Oh my god, Bella. She's been too it's much. It's been like five months. In a different movie, she would need to get exercised because that shit is not normal. You know, sometimes you got to learn to love what's good for you. Mmm, that's Finally, really good advice. Good parental advice. That is good advice. If I told you I couldn't fix these bikes, what would you have said? Can you fix my heart? Ugh. Can you fix my pussy? She looks so good. Dude, I was thinking the same thing. She looks really good. I think they're sweet. And you know why? It's because he is giving more effort into acting than Edward was. At least he's giving me something. Why isn't she wearing a helmet? <gasps> oh my god, that, that must have hurt. I've had something similar happen to me before where I crashed off a bike and the tip of the fence <gasps> stabbed me in the throat. I had to go to the ER. God said, you are not dying today. The doctor said it almost hit a vein and I would have died. So that was my main character moment. Your head. Oh my god, I'm sorry. We were apologizing for bleeding. Yeah, I guess I am. He had to take off his shirt to wipe her forehead. And then. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, that was not necessary at all. You're so beautiful. How hard did you hit your head? Oh, cute. Aww. Ha ha. Ha ha. How about face punch? Have you heard of that? I mean, it's, it's, an, it's an action movie. And guns, adrenaline. We should get a bunch of people to go. Do you guys want to go face punch? Face punch, yeah. We're supposed to watch that. Remember the trailer's like... <laughs> Yeah. Punch faces. I feel like they just improvise that. Like, oh, face punch? You know that movie where they punch faces? <laughs> just, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. So are you even old enough to, to see this movie? Dude, he's literally taller than you and bigger. Dude, the most awkward date ever. <laughs> <He's> start <feeling. laughs> I'm gonna blow both of your 
Oh, are they gonna hold hands? Do it. Ew, don't worry about him. <laughs> Don't even worry about him. I guess he's not into gore. Well, that leaves the two of them alone. Let's go. What a marshmallow. What a marshmallow. Silly little marshmallow. About to get roasted, you little marshmallow. <gasps> he's holding her hand, but she was not into it. What, I can't hold your hand? No, of course you can. I just think it you know, means something a little different to you. Not her friends only him. At least she's being honest. She doesn't have to hold his hand if she doesn't want to. True, but at the same time... You like me, right? And you think I'm sort of beautiful? Well, just because she thinks you're beautiful doesn't mean she wants to date you. She's not ready. Don't push her. Why? It's because you're wearing a shirt right now. It's because of him, right? Look, I know what he did to you. I would never, ever do that. I won't ever hurt you. Oh, he thinks that Edward had hurt her. I mean, he kind of did, but he thinks it's like a different kind of situation. That's so interesting. I wish I had a safety net like Jacob. Someone who I don't have to actually commit to, but I can use for like you mean friends my emotions. Benefits? He's not friends with benefits. He's fulfilling her emotional needs, but yeah. she doesn't have to commit to him. What is your problem right now? You're my problem. Feeling sick? Maybe you need to go to the hospital. You want me to put you in the hospital? Oh my god, why? <laughs> why is he so mad all of a sudden? You're really hot. He's like, oh, thank you. I am hot. Are we transitioning to a werewolf? Ooh. I do like warm bodies because I get cold easily. So, hmm. Dude is weird. He is weird, but have you seen Edward? He's weirder. <laughs> Jake. Uh, your dad says you have mono. Mono? Mono doesn't make you warm up like that. These supernatural creatures have the worst lives. I'm pretty sure he's turning to a werewolf and he doesn't know it. And so that's why he's Oh, like, he's not aware that he's a werewolf? I don't think so, not <gasps> until this moment. So that's why like, she's trying to call in contact with him. Wait, so when he's turning into a werewolf, does he get angry? I think it was like his first time. So it's like a rite of passage maybe that they're being absent for a while. Because maybe it takes a long time to turn into a werewolf for the first time. I just wonder if anger factors into it. I'm pretty sure it does. Oh no. No, I don't like angry people. Men with anger issues is a big red flag for me. That's literally every single supernatural creature in this movie. No, I don't like that. Why can't a supernatural creature just be chill? If vampires have been around for so many years, they would be more chill, right? Go away. What happened to you? What's wrong? Hey! What happened? It's giving me weirdo behavior. Maybe he's going through puberty. I don't know what you're talking about. But you know exactly what I'm talking about. You've been lying to everyone. You can't lie to me. Ew, not this gaslighting. I don't like his attitude right now. I don't like this energy. I'm not into it. Man, yeah, I like old Jacob better. You changed, man. We can't be friends anymore. He oh. knows they're, they're vampires. Okay, but still, I don't like your attitude. He has cute nipples. This is over. You can't break up with me. Break up? Y'all were never dating. I promised I wouldn't hurt you, Bella. And this is me keeping that promise. I think when any guy tells you that they don't want to hurt you, that's a red flag. When a guy tells you he might hurt you, you need to listen to them. Because if a guy can admit that, that's a red flag. Things are bad again. Without Jake, I just, I can't stand it. This is why you shouldn't rely your happiness on a man. She's like so helpless without a dude in her life. This is where she needs to go hiking, practice some meditation, get some me time. I swear like 50% of this movie is just her groaning or screaming. He's kind of cool. He has a cool look. He looks like he would be in Humans of New York. One of those people who are walking New York City, they get a photo taken up because they have like a street style. Why? Yeah, absolutely, all the time. I better. Dude, she can't even think for herself. She needs to have a fucking ghost of Edward <laughs> to better. tell her what to do. A werewolf. Let's go. Oh, wait, a bear? A bear. That's a werewolf. Oh. It's just fucking big. Oh my god, they're huge. Oh my gosh. You could, that's, that's He's ginormous. It's kind of cute though. Get him, get him. Fetch boy. Oh, it's so cute. Jacob kind of looks like that fox from Zootopia. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Can you just stay in the house? Can you just chill for once? If you're not going to be useful, you at least chill out. What the hell are you doing? Back up, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I want the oh world to- Ooh, parkour! Dude, what's with all her love interests wanting to <laughs> watch her through the windows? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. 
Damn. She's like, fuck. She put her hand and she's like, holy shit, it's solid <laughs> like a rock. You have no idea how tight I'm bound. You have no idea how tight I'm bound. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> He looks like he gives good hugs. Okay, Bella, by now you, you, come on, you had to think, how could a guy just jump off from a second floor story window? Just a random shirtless man jumping in and out of her window. Exactly, and she has like no questions. She could have just thrown a tennis ball and that would have answered all of her questions. Aw, he's taking a little nap. Little dog, he's taking a little nap. Pet his belly. <laughs> Dude, this is like the cult of shirtless men. Oh, I get back. Oh my god, chill. Ew! Ew! He looks way better as a wolf, just saying. But when he was a human and he was like, I was like, the fuck? Here we go. Ow! Didn't we do that last night? When we were biting each other's necks like that and growling? We should replicate this scene right now. Hell no. <laughs> Dude, what if one of them started mounting the other? The wolf's out of the bag. Huh, guess the wolf's out of the bag. <laughs> Still has corny ass jokes. Not these cargo shorts. Dude, the cult of shirtless men and cargo shorts. Is it possible that there isn't anything sane or normal at all? <laughs> Yee! Yeah. Yeah. Imagine being so sad over losing a guy that you jump off a cliff. Bella, get a fucking hold of yourself. I feel like Jake would be really nice to cuddle with. 108 degrees over here. <gasps> 108 degrees? Oh. I'm telling you, he would be so good to cuddle with in the winter. And he has like you a can good- keep everything warm, even that coochie warm. Exactly. And he has a good chest width to lay your head on. His fucking pecs are like a pillow. You saw what happened to Emily. Sam got angry, lost it for a split second, and was standing too close. What if I got mad at you? Oh, no. No, I don't like that. I guess when they get angry, they- Turn into werewolves. No! I want to be able to be with like a werewolf, but if they get angry like that and physically hurt me, that's such a red flag. They're gonna kiss? I wonder if he has dog breath. <laughs> what a random thing to say. Cause if they're about to kiss. Oh, he's gonna kiss her. I wouldn't mind getting kissed. Damn, it's been so long for me. It's been non-existent for me? Uh-oh, misunderstanding. Ooh. Oh no, oh no. Hello, it's Edward. Oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> Alice is just like, um, excuse me. Alice is just sitting there like, okay, I gotta wait for my next line. All right, are you done, furry? Get your paws off my door, please. Ooh, are they going to Italy now? Yeah. That's a fun little trip. Oh, he looks like shit. Ew, right? he looks so bad. He's so bitter that he's stuck in this contract for four movies. <laughs> Not these two idiots dying for each other. Hey, juxtaposition. Romeo and Juliet, that's what I mean. That's not a juxtaposition. That's a parallel. No, it is sort of a juxtaposition. No, juxtaposition is when two different things this happen. There is two different things happening in these different They're not scenarios. different. It's a parallel because they're mimicking Romeo and Juliet by killing for it's each other. It's still a juxtaposition. Okay, you know what? Commenters, go ahead and roast Elias for using <laughs> juxtaposition wrong. I'm sick of the stupidity <laughs> from the movie and from you. It's too much. Not this emotional abuse from you. Well, you know. Watching Twilight has got me <laughs> following the trend. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute with her little scar. Dude, what if they just went on a road trip to Italy together? A little eat, pray, love moment. Where do I go? Are we under the clock tower? That was very specific. Where the fuck is the clock tower? <laughs> Dude, if that were me, I would go ahead and just go on vacation. <laughs> Just yell his name. Yeah, why can't she yell his name? Girl, why are you standing there? Just Dude, she's so dramatic, and for what? He's got nothing on Jacob. No, don't take off your shirt. You're gonna look bad in comparison to Jacob. I hope she has a good sports bra with all that running. Dude, open your fucking eyes. Open your eyes, look at me. Look at me, Edward, look at me. Dude, I would hate to cuddle with someone who's that cold. This is the most emotion he's shown in this whole movie. Maybe in the beginning of the movie, he was like a sleepy drunk and now he's like the edibles are kicking in because it doesn't make sense for you to love me I'm nothing human nothing 
Girl, please get some self-esteem. When you don't have enough self-esteem, you run into these situations, you end up jumping off a cliff because a guy broke up with you. What's up with their red eyes? I think it means something, I can't remember. It means I they got it... colored contacts. That's the deepest V-neck on Edward I've ever seen. You can't read Alice. Maybe that's her power. What, being a dumb bitch with no thoughts? I think that none of their abilities work on her. Let us see if she is immune to all our powers. Let us see if she is immune or if she's just a dumb bitch. She knows too much. She knows too much and yet thinks so little. That's some nice ass marble that you're cracking. Is this another climax where everybody's fighting but she's just standing there doing nothing? Please, please! Oh my god, she's like, please, please! please. Kill me, kill me. Oh my god, please, girl. Dude, have some fucking self-worth. God, she's so eager to just kill herself at any point, which is kind of a mood, but... All these boomers. I know. Ugh, yes, please leave already. I don't like the energy in this room. You can sleep. Not with you watching, weirdo. He would be the worst to cuddle with. You would just feel cold flesh and bones. It essentially is like cold marble. Ever for the summer, Jacob for the winter. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, I see that. A wolf! Juxtaposition. I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that really counts, but... <laughs> you finally admitted it. I don't know why you're trying so hard to make juxtaposition happen. It's not gonna happen. Our relationship is a juxtaposition. Yeah, I guess. A, a juxtaposition <laughs> to your sexuality. If they weren't vampires, I would feel like I'm standing in a house filled with Republicans. So she loves them both romantically. Honestly, why can't it be a polyamorous relationship? A werewolf and a You vampire? know they would not be able to handle that. They're all fucking stupid. You have three species, human, werewolf, vampire. Dude, that would make so much drama among the species with their rivalry, and they're all emotionally incompetent. One it top, one bottom, work. one middle. Like I mean, a sandwich, a Bella sandwich. I mean, there, there's three holes for a reason. I guess. Aww, doggy. Oh, the dog's sad. Oh, he's cute. He is cute as a dog. He's so sad. You're definitely Team Jacob. Team Furry for the win. Marry me, Bella. Wait, she gasps, and then the movie's over? <laughs> Please let it be over. Oh, fucking finally. Dude, that took so many years off of my life. Vampires or werewolves? Which do you prefer? Werewolves. I always like reading stories about werewolves yeah. and vampires. I guess that makes me part furry too. That's why we're in a relationship right now. So if I had to pick between Team Edward and Team Jacob, right now, I'm more preview to Team Jacob. That's all I'm gonna say. This movie kind of reinforced it. Wait, so did this movie convince you to be on Team Jacob? You know why? It's because you saw him fucking shirtless, and you were like, <laughs> hmm. Mm, and we got nothing it. on that. I, I'm just thinking really shallowly physically. Team Jacob. Yeah, physically, he's way more my type. They both got anger issues, which I don't like, but if I had to choose, it would be Jacob. 108 degrees, warmer, so... Yeah, you winter. know how I really like it warm, because when you went over to my apartment, you saw how oh high God. I made my heater go up. It was it's boiling insane. hot. She, she wears sweats to go to sleep, too, and with the fucking comforter. Mm -hmm. She's so tiny. There so I go. really like it warm, so I think Jacob would be most compatible with me. He's a cute little dog, a little muscle boy. Well, thank you for watching New Moon with me because I would definitely be more bored if I watch <laughs> yeah, it by this is myself. Fun. The next movie Eclipse will be on my channel. The things I do for entertainment. Exactly. And to give clout to Elias. <laughs> so speaking of which, go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel and subscribe to Elias instead. Goodbye. All the single furries, 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 all the single furries. Now put your paws up. I'm just a pup pup, don't know how to stop, stop. I'm shaking my own little tail. Decided to wag, yeah. head to beg, beg. He didn't even notice me.